welcome to another episode of Hard Factor, presented by the Barstool News Network. It is What the Fuck Wednesday, September 23rd, 2020, uh, which means we all have a new weigh-in weight, and all four of us on the Hard Factor podcast are in a new decade of weights. That's uh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we Mark. rolled we rolled down the tens column or the second mm-hmm. digit like it was a Walmart sale. You know, yeah. Slashing weights. Feels pretty good, right, guys? I feel great. I feel pretty happy to be in a new uh weight class, new new like new decades. How do you guys feel? B yeah. Wes, how you feel? I'm the lightest I've been since last time we did this. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I feel good. Um I'm jealous of Wes, but I feel good. Uh, he is thinner yeah. than you. I love to be in the new decades. Well, if Beeve doesn't pick it up, he won't get to a new decade for like six weeks. So <laughs> I was going to say well, his rate. He's, I was down he's, in the at least lost, he's not, lost, lost 4.6 pounds. At least he's not large. Weeks. Large <laughs> went like back up. So large is still in the 290s and he's at he's back up in there. Uh, I moved into the 280s. Mark's deep into the 250s. Pat into the 230s. And Wes trim in the 220s. I got to I got to oh, be yeah. honest with you. So hmm. in June, I was 227, and that's kind of the that's kind of the weight I was hovering at. That's your for, fighting weight? That's what well, you want to be at? Per the last weight loss competition. And then okay. I, I went a little bit nuts on my non-vacation, and I got up there, and now it's just it, – it's not coming off like it used to. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't know what's going on. Well, well are you, I don't think hmm. you're exercising as hard as the other three. I'm not. Years. No, I'm not no. exercising as hard. But so, normally I so can that's, kill that's 10 why. pounds pretty easy. Exercise is, is definitely been helpful. I've been eating like crap, but it's been easy to cut the weight at the end of the week because I've been working out all week. You got to get into a fat burner mode where you're like, you know, sweating hard and, and your heart rate is going really fast to lose weight. You can't just walk slowly around New York for three miles a day. That it's a medium shit. pace. And, okay. and, and I'm always more sweating. laid back, you stop laid at back every corner. style. You yeah. are sweating. You always. are breaking a sweat here. No matter what I'm doing, I'm sweating. You, you hmm. need to sweat profusely to lose weight. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Some fasted cardio in there, Pat, and you'll be okay. all right. Yeah, I'll fast start a little bit. I'll start running this week. Well, you say you're only eating once a day. I mean, that's your yeah. Be, I mean, but then you also said you're having a lot of ice cream, so you just don't count that as a meal. Well, I mean, I'm well, a, it's one big meal. It's a it's a really it's a meal, big meal, and then and then a few desserts and and sometimes <laughs> even like Jesus was was imperfect, yeah. Mark, and yeah, you know, he made mistakes. I'm just saying, you need to get in the headspace of it's not. You, it's not harder for you to lose weight since June. You're not working hard enough, is what I'm saying. I love that you're my coach. I it's love a tough that. reality. Ma- Mark texted yeah. me last week. He goes, "Well, you're gonna have to cut more than two or three days drinking out of the week." He's sorry for the tough love, and, and I did that because I was like, "Ah, oh, there you go. Thanks, coach." And so, you're, you're, the new and you're now in a yeah the two thirties. So. Yeah, yeah. Co- mm-hmm. Coach Kinda got me there. I'm gonna keep the I'm gonna keep the tough love up. <laughs> no, I know that you will, Mark. I know that you will. <laughs> keep, gonna keep whipping that horse. Uh. Speaking of whipping horse, do you guys think this is? I was gonna ask. Do you think this this week is gonna be like one of those weeks where large? It's just too defeating for large. You know, like you know how sometimes if you're in these these things and and the other guys you know lose a bunch of weight and then he he literally almost got back into the three hundreds this week. We're having him on next week and he's got a lot of explaining to do. Obviously, Mm -hmm. now I hope to see a bounce back weight from him next week on the scales. I think he's gonna Uh, bounce back. Yeah, but I think so too. Yeah, he's gonna have. He's got a lot to say next week. He's got a lot of questions to answer. He's I think been his doing good. He's going to get a lot of workouts. Yeah, he's been doing good. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna talk about it. I'm, I'm, I'm co-hosting Barstool Breakfast with him on Friday. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna get into what his fat ass was doing. But I'm just glad he's running. I need to get I need to get on the large train and start jogging. Yes. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tune into that. Uh, also, speaking of, uh, we were talking about whipping that horse earlier. We are whipping the horse on the Leeds Over Club. We said it on radio, uh, but we're going to go for uh, the over every time Leeds plays uh, this year, which is like every Saturday or Sunday. I don't know. Uh, but this week, they're against Sheffield United, 2.5 goals total. Just oh, uh, come on, hammer that over. It, yeah, hammer Whoa. the over. Oh, it's only 2.5. Yeah, it's Leeds only 2.5 total. 3.5 games. They had them, seven, the in last, last game. Yeah. Yeah, seven in the last Ooh. last game. Yeah, seven in the last game. So, anyhow, five. Wherever oh. your sports book is, hopefully you're in Philadelphia or or um, I'm sorry, uh, Pennsylvania, and you can use the Barstool Sportsbook app. And if it's downloaded, it's amazing. I can't wait till it's available in Nevada. Way better uh, than the William Hill app that I currently have to use. But yes, 
We are going over on leads. I mean, and the season. defense is terrible. Sheffield will get a couple. It's yeah. going to be like four to two leads. That's the that's the and final score. You can even tease Damn. if you, if you yeah. are in Pennsylvania and you can use the Barstool Sportsbook app. You can even tease the line and you can get it up. Like if you wanted to go over five and a half goals total plus sixteen hundred, you can put that Ooh. wager. Ooh. Hey, that's yeah. they've been over five and a half in both their Premier League games. Exactly right. Ooh. Yeah, so they've I been mean, over six and a half in both their Premier League games. Ooh. With four leads. three, it was three four four three. Oh. <laughs> Anything is possible with leads. <laughs> In the overs, yeah. so the generate <laughs> juices are flowing. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Whoa! So that's what. So they have the overs. Uh, uh, Barstool Sports Advisors hit the overs club. They're handing out jackets uh, for football. Uh, we are doing the leads overs club. We got our, and we're also going decades down. So we got like a losers and an overs. It's amazing right now. A lot of good vibes going on. Uh, Bet the over leads. on us losing weight. Right. Exactly. And leads goals. Uh, also from Andrew Parker in the UK, got us into the Leeds club. Uh, there are two new episodes of the take us home documentary on Amazon prime. Uh, you guys got to check that out. So hell yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, let me get into the stories. First up though. Um, a couple of updates from the hive, uh, members and it is what the fuck Wednesday. So it's, it's your show. So it's good to get updates from you guys. Uh, the Dutch hammer himself reminded me in a DM that the guy who keistered a 25 caliber handgun the Alabama swoop kid we talked about was yeah. reminiscent of a story in his book that he just published inside a cop's mind where the main character who is a police officer based off of basically his, his life or people in the force with him. Um, uh, there was a chapter about a woman who female keistered or front keistered or veistered a 380 caliber handgun. Veistered, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That, that chapter is called inside an inmate's vagina. It's called holster, and she was at her condo. Yeah, called, let me see uh, that holster. Yeah. <laughs> they they yeah. called her. They called her the holster. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. yeah. That was, they called her on the force afterwards. Uh, and the next one was from Zach Graham. He sent this uh, a little while ago. So this is the type of holster it, you can fire into. Yeah, every, yeah. It's a, that's the good holster. You don't yeah. want an accidental discharge, though. It's all the no, same. You don't. It, you really, any all, discharge yeah. you don't want. If you've seen The Sopranos, there's a, a reference in, in that with foreplay. But uh, Zach Ram, who's in Houston, Hard Ohio member, uh, said that uh, he could confirm that uh, Hurricane Beta was acting like a beta bitch. But um, that was a while ago. And and, and uh, since then, on Tuesday morning and afternoon, there was some pretty severe flooding in Houston. So I know it's chopping. It's hitting, yeah. sending the water level up over yeah, there. So hopefully. It's slow. Hopefully people's neighborhoods slow stay moving. Safe, yeah, hopefully your your cars and your houses and, and your lives are okay there in Houston. And now let's get into the first story, uh, which comes from Hardo Hive member Charles. And guess what? The CDC is at it again. Uh, and by at it, I mean they're stirring shit up over uh, coronavirus, something fierce. This they're past releasing week. a new how coronavirus spreads and taking it back again. Sort of. Yeah. This oh. time um, they are saying they're now Good. saying that a lot. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, really, CDC, like we kick, kick us while Two we're Two times down. in one uh, week. Yeah. All right. They're, they're now saying that 11,000 people and certainly the beef may have been exposed to the coronavirus from flights. Uh, God damn it. Oh, this is know. so. Yeah. I almost canceled my my trip to Virginia over this shit. They got a fucking email about it. it, saw yeah. it, and was like, "All I'm stressed about this fucking trip. I'm not gonna. I'm lie. gonna relieve your stress. I'm gonna relieve your stress, Wes. I'm gonna get. I'm, I'm gonna talk shit about the CDC. Okay. And you're gonna be fine. Right. We um, also did a story recently about Germany where they studied the people on the plane who they knew were exposed, and there was like no spread. Yeah. So, yeah. so here here's where this is stemming from. I don't. I mean, first of all, it should be stemming from. I don't know why they're doing this, but uh, there were six. There are sixteen hundred known cases of people that flew while they were contagious. Um, there are zero known cases of people passing it to someone on their flights, but there are 1,600 people that they found out, you know, flew while they were contagious. So then they, like a psychopath, like six degrees of Kevin Bacon or like more like Charlie from um, Always Sunny where he's connecting mm -hmm. the dots with the strings. They yeah. are like, oh, they found like 11,000 passengers it's, that flew. It's just called with contact, contact tracing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. right, yeah. exactly. You can call it psychopathy yeah. or contact tracing, well, whichever you it, want. It is, well, here's it why is I call it psychopathy because there are yeah. 7 million cases of, of coronavirus in the United States. You can't contact trace, just contact trace everyone. Just send a message saying everyone you probably have been well, and they are with no, no, near no, Mark, somebody. Mark, like, they are contact tracing everybody. Like I yeah. got um, an email. You can, con you can contact trace when there's like a hundred cases. You can't I contact got trace when there's seven million. Mm -hmm. I got an email this week saying, "Hey, we'll pay you to come in and get antibody tests." So imagine right. if I you go in, you get the antibody test. 
then you're probably looking for who the hell you contacted. Right. Right. It's like, just insane. I it's mean, impossible to keep track of and to go, oh, I forgot. I did talk to Jim. Oh, I forgot. I did go to the grocery store. Oh, I forgot. I did like there's 7 yeah. million cases of coronavirus. Well, plus they're paying people to get tested. So you're like, you know, well, you know, then you're, then you're bringing in even more. After Come I, on, after I read this shit, I started like, you know, hopping on the internet and just looking at like safety and all the like, flights. And I read some article that said in the U S it's like a one in 8,000 chance that you'll get coronavirus on a flight. And then they had others like Europe was like one in 4,000. They have all these cockamamie numbers here's, that fuck you up. Right. Well, here's why probably, Wes, because the CDC also has verbiage that says viruses do not spread easily on flights because of how air circulates and is filtered on airplanes. Mm -hmm. So you like, know what it is? Wouldn't guess this that. Is yeah, it is. It is weird. Like we were predicting it months ago, like m many months ago, that like airplanes would be like um, floating uh, cruise ships, but they're not. Yeah. Restaurants, they're actually, bath yeah. the bathrooms, cruise ships of the, the sky, the cruise ships of the sky. Mm -hmm. I'm just pissed at the CDC because Will, look, what do you think it is, though? Their boy, their boy who's calling wolf themselves, because what they do is they're 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 changing the story to changing the tune too often. And you can't yeah. you can't keep doing this. You can't keep having conflicting information. Nobody's going to believe anything you say when you change your story this often. That's there, very, there's very a wolf. It's like Wes. It's like Wes said, there's there's a battle going on internally at the CDC behind the whistleblowers yeah. and the uh, Trump supporting like people that are like it's more of like a hoax and they're going home and writing blogs it's like that that strafe that's like there's a battle between the strafes and the anti strafes in the CDC and and the hum and everyone is suffering because of it right because uh, you get because they're you're getting back and forth information yeah. from them and then other outlets like the WHO who's also conflicting right. constantly who? and now then, the WHO is beefing with the other who's beefing hmm. with CC enough <laughs> <Exactly>. enough already <laughs> yeah it's, you can't tell who's on second down, right from no. left in this it's no what's on second who's on first well God it's, damn it's it. tough though because most you know like science generally peer-reviewed but uh, there's probably just not time for that right now I mean it's a tough it's position for those fast. guys to be in. everything changes yeah but True, but once you hear it change so many times, how you can't have any faith that it's going to stay no, the same. There's no bigger coronavirus or serious stand than me, and the CDC's fucking up this past week. Yeah, that's all I got to say about that. Next story. Yeah, I mean, CNN put out mm. an article about an apocalyptic fall the other night. Uh, Apocalypse. Yeah, yeah, that was crazy. Like, what the that was crazy fuck? to see in yeah. the text thread. I, was not, I saw that. And I got. <laughs> that was, I got. I got a jacket. Yeah, that was a pretty. <laughs> Pretty yes. yeah, pretty stern language. Apocalyptic fall. Be Beeves in the anarchy zone, <laughs> preparing for the apocalypse. Bro, I didn't leave. I didn't leave the house today. No way. Not with all the anarchy on the street. I am going <laughs> yeah, to get really the fuck out of New York in the next couple weeks before this second wave hits, though. Because if it hits, anarchy yeah. plus apocalypse, Bro, Corona. You know you I'm imagine? not down with apocalypse. You know I'm not down with that. Pat, you know what I'd love to see from you is one of those videos that's trending where everyone they're walking around, they're going, look at all the anarchy. And then they show people like riding bikes and they're like, look at all the look at all the terrorism. And then their people are oh, like yeah. picnicking. Maybe you could make one of those. They're pretty hot right now. You should do one of those. But then mm. have the third one be like an actual murder. Actually. Yeah. Yeah, somebody committing yeah, a crime. That'd be funny. <laughs> I saw some people uh, <laughs> walking, walking just home from the office. office some guy stabbing someone in the alley. <laughs> it's it's usually pretty safe, but I came across within within one block uh, some people that had just stolen a purse and were going through it on the ground, and then some people that were cooking up heroin. Uh, mm -hmm. on the ground as well so yeah that'd they're, be a good third frame exactly that's what we're talking they were, about they're causing some internal anarchy if you know what i mean yeah, yeah. <laughs> that kind of anarchy you know, for one yeah <laughs> that would go viral if you had that kind of twist at the end um yeah <laughs> all right guys this next one also comes from charles so thank you again charles and uh and for the workout tips the, the you we think we're just gonna stick to starving but uh, we'll look into it. So, guys, it's, it looks like <laughs> well, he wasn't saying don't starve. He was saying add on an ah. uh, at home workout swore kit. OK, is what he he's trying to kill us then. Um, no, yeah, I think it was new. I think it was Noom. Right. Yeah. yeah Noom. 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 Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Noom guy. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Noom. So, guys, it looks like Seattle is just about out of options when it comes to how to get their uh, city back under control and what to do with this police uh, situation and, and, and how they're going to police in the future. So they went to a very logical source of wisdom. Uh, that being ex uh, convicted pimp who they are paying or his name is uh, uh, he goes by gorgeous Dre and um, oh, uh, that's a good yeah. pimp name. so they're killer. Gonna, name. Yeah, that is. Yeah. And they're great. They're name. paying him one hundred and fifty thousand dollars or twelve thousand five hundred dollars a month for a full year to come up with alternatives uh, to the police. Um, 
Yeah, so this guy's name is Andre Taylor, who you may remember. To the the pimp police. To the to just the police. Just what? Yeah. Oh, just in general. Just the, the so police. like he's just saying as a as a man about town, right. you know exactly what might work. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. I'll get I'll get to his exact role. Um, but you might remember him from the documentary American Pimp uh, under his pimp name, as I said, Gorgeous Dre. Um, uh, mm. Yeah, he's. Yeah, mm-hmm. I know what this is. This is I'll, just like this is just like the guy who dreamt the drawbridge. They just want to hang out with interesting people and because and, they're bored and they want to hear mm. cool stories. I think he's well, got some blackmail on on the mayor is what I think. <laughs> I, I think you guys say Gorgeous Dre is a cool pimp name. I think it's stupid, man. I think if I was a pimp, I would be like, what would your name be? Uh, ugly Frank or like um, mm. like Crater Face Johnson, because you're going to people are going to take you way more seriously if they know that you're ugly and go- gorgeous. Dre, I feel like I don't know, just not. I don't know if it's not very intimidating. I'll just put yeah, that you know, like when you're when you're pimping, though, I feel like a, a lot of it is the swag. Yeah. And so you don't you don't, you, you got to have you got to you got to be a swaggy guy. There's a, there's a fine line, though. You know, gorgeous Dre is like, like, OK, we're going to fight, but not in the face. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, exactly. Yeah, and that's and not also, that, that's yeah, not you that know tough. how to get to him. Like you cut gorgeous Dre's face or you mess with his hair yeah. and he's going to get he's, he's going to he's at the lip. barber shop. He's at the barber shop or like the or the clothes store. Like, you know, he's at two locations. He's mm-hmm. always like working on his look. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel like it's easy to find. I feel like a crater face. Gorgeous, you can't rattle gorgeous Dre a little bit more when it comes to like what kind of ladies he has than like crater face, though. So. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. because you gotta do, got to do because as, uh, as yeah. a pimp, you also have to be the business facing right. side of the yeah. stank and so, Pete. Right. Stank and Pete you, is people. People fear him. Yeah. If you're with gorgeous Dre, though, like you probably will get higher quality uh, prostitutes, but you're also might get rolled up on and like shot because everyone's like. Right, you know, crater gonna, face gonna take over gorgeous a, crater Dre's face. Territory. You're gonna pay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're paying a hundred less off the top, right? Than with well, you're gorgeous. not fucking consistent. crater face. You're, no. you're fucking yeah, his, but you're his but his girls, girls. right? His yeah, exactly. But but crater face is stable is nowhere. I don't, near. I don't want gorgeous Dre. Yeah. I mean, you look up those names. Don't say that about yeah. crater. I don't want a crater face girl. I want a gorgeous Dre girl. That's yeah. what it comes down yeah, to. You know, right. you know, yeah, probably, you know, Dre's we probably dwelled on this enough. <laughs> I'm saying, you know, I'm going a little more. All right, anyway, yeah, we so, should probably should um, move on. So, uh, he's also getting a nice office in Seattle's municipal tower as part of the contract. Um, as gorgeous Dre should, I mean, a, a name of that, yeah. of that stature deserves yeah. an office. He right. doesn't live, he doesn't live garden floor. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's also, he's also the guy who tried to seemingly extort Seattle and get mil, uh, the militants who set up the chop zone or the Capitol Hill occupied protest. Uh, paid in order to leave and restore peace, telling them, quote, that's just pimp. Don't just West. leave. Leave with something. Um, Andre Taylor has also pimped underage girls Sage advice in his days oh. in Nevada, where he spent just over fi- uh, a year of a five year sentence in prison for being a pimp. I oh, assume. had to leave huh? because yeah. of the underage girl. The underage he girl was, pimping. He was too. He was breaking pimp laws in Nevada. Yeah. Jesus. Nev- hard A, mm. Nevada, please. Nevada. But yeah, well, that's, that's tough. Uh, it's hard to do because it's legal here. So, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, yeah, and the legal age is probably 16 there. So Gorgeous Dre's a scumbag. He's a scumbag, yep. But now he's running, uh, he's, he's, on the, he's on the payroll of Seattle. Um, so the new street czar, as they're calling him, that's his title, I guess, seems to be tasked with, quote, uh, to provide recommendations to the city on de-escalation, community engagement, and alternatives to policing. And um, hmm. Mayor Jenny, he's like, mm-hmm. how about none? <laughs> right. How about you let me pimp and <laughs> yeah. how about gorgeous Dre is in charge? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> gorgeous Dre, do you have an ulterior motive here? It seems like yeah. you're all your suggestions have to do with more crime. Gorgeous Dre. Yeah. Why are you yeah. recommending no police on these uh, eight corners? Gorgeous Dre. Um, I've got a few guys that can help out <laughs> uh, anyway. So, yeah. He's uh the Jenny Mayor Jenny Durkin's office told reporters that Mr. Gorgeous Dre was uh, selected because uh he has uh, they have an existing working partnership and that Mr. Gorgeous Dre quote lived experience uh, uh with the criminal legal system and their history of successful advocacy and uh, activism on issues of policing and dismantling systemic racism he is the leader of the organization not this time and led one of the first rallies in Seattle after the death of George Floyd uh, Gorgeous says that he's more than qualified for this new contract, justifying it by saying he has, quote, particular genius in a particular area and that he can talk to gang members and pimps and prostitutes who won't sit down with anyone else. And that black. What's the area? Uh, it, I mean, he just it's the street people that don't trust police. Oh, yeah. yeah. And he, he could have just said pimping ain't easy. Right. Mm-hmm. And then that's my credentials. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. yeah. So he's just yeah, they're trying to they're trying to bridge the gap. 
uh, with with gorgeous here, and apparently are handing. Well, hopefully out- it works. I mean, you know, thinking from outside one, the box from one extreme to the other. I don't know. Well, he we'll probably see. does know best. I mean, you know. Probably, yeah. They're handing out other contracts to similar people and organizations in Seattle to do just this too. So it's just, just a strategy, a new strategy out there in Seattle. And I'm not even sure this is real, to be honest with you. But um, I, I was, <laughs> that's why I was doing all that stalling, talking about pimp names, Wes, is because I was trying to research the validity of the story while you were telling it. And it's it, 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 it's uh, 75 percent uh, leaning towards true. I it's think. from the New York yeah, Post. Or just Dre. Or generally, we'll update if it's not. Yeah, it's what the fuck Wednesday. Yep. Gorgeous Dre, uh, yeah. definitely getting some work in out in Seattle. All right, uh, let's take it over to a, a story that is real from Reuters, uh, coming in from P. Fitz, and it's about a man. And I purposely didn't pr- uh, practice the pronunciation. Okay, Bema Daji, Bema Daji, Ang Wang. You guys see that name? Mm-hmm. Say that first name again. Bema Daji, Ang Wang. Uh, I wish you wanted to do it with the high pitched voice again. <laughs> <laughs> the inflection. <laughs> the inflections. Be Maradi. Yeah. Ang Wang. Right. A yeah. 30. Is that good? Do you think it's yeah, okay? Yeah, pretty good. It's something. I'm just going to call him Ang Wang. Uh, he is a 33 year old man, a married father who lives in Long Island, works for the NYPD, the Army Reserves, and in some capacity has also at least performed with the Marines as well. Um, and, and he is accused of being a Chinese spy. And not only is he accused of being a Chinese spy, the evidence is very overwhelming. Um, Ang Wang is a naturalized Tibetan living in America, and he began contacting the Chinese consulate in New York in 2014. And in 2018, he began just full-on spying for him across all of his security clearance clearances and all of the jobs he held. Um, that included... Getting into uh, NYPD databases information for the Communist Uh-oh. Party um, and inviting Communist Party members to uh, NYPD events, uh, spying on fellow Tibetan Americans, mostly in Queens, um, and reporting their activity back to the Chinese consulate. The Chinese just um, can't leave Tibet alone, can they? Even when no. <laughs> Come on, no. China. Yep, and spying on them after they come over and, and using one of them as the spy, which is interesting. We'll they're, like a, they're like a jealous boyfriend that got broken up with. They're still following Tibetans around in New York City. Like, let it go, buddy. Clearly insane. Yeah, the stuff, the stuff that he's 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 doing, basically uh, just everything. Uh, he, he was performing all spying on all of these uh, U.S. institutions to bring glory to China. That's what he would always say on the tapes. They have recordings of him talking to his handler, Damn. Uh, you know, 60 times. Uh Despite claiming asylum to stay here in the United States, uh, saying that he was captured and tortured in China due to his Tibetan ethnicity. So he lied to claim asylum to stay in America, saying he was tortured by the Chinese to then become a spy within the NYPD, the Army Reserves Ooh. and potentially in some That's capacity. Dirty. Yeah, this guy yeah. sounds like he's as smooth as gorgeous Stray, right? Smooth yeah, talker. he must have smooth been operator. This he guy. must have been very smooth because he yeah. spied his ass off. He got into a lot of <laughs> a lot of institutions there. Um, yeah, I mean, anyways, uh, his neighbors on Long Island are shocked uh, <laughs> because he's such a nice guy. But now he's facing 55 years in prison uh, because they have him on tape. Like I said, uh, spying on all of his neighbors who are so shocked now uh, for the last six years or so. So soft corner for this dickhead. Uh, Ang yeah. Wang uh, and any other foreign spies living in the USA. Fuck all you guys. The FBI is probably watching. So I love that term. Yeah, what a, really what s- sad pieces of shit really spied his ass off. He really did. <laughs> I mean, he got in. He got deep in there into a lot of shit. Like, it sounds like crazy he's to think about. going away for a while. If oh, it, yeah. I mean, assuming it's true, but they're saying they have all these tapes of him talking like he, they had. Right. They had alleged this, this shit. Right. Trees but they dog. have these tapes. So. Punishable by death. Guys, let's talk about Predict It real quick. So uh, Predict It, it's a place where you can bet on the stock market. Uh, It's like the stock market of politics. You can bet on news and politics. It's fantastic. If you sign up for Predict It right now using our unique URL, got to use this unique one. It's uh, predictit.org slash promo slash hard factor 20. 
Go to that link, sign up for a new account, throw 20 bucks in your account. Bam, we match it, free 20. Uh, mm. we, we reached out to Predicted about getting some, uh, some markets up for the debates on September 29th. So look forward to that, guys. Updates on that. But two markets I like right now. When will the Senate vote on confirmation of the next Supreme Court nominee? Uh, before November 3rd is 71 cents. So a little bit of information here, guys. We are 42 days away from uh, November 3rd, and uh, it took exactly that long to confirm Ruth Bader Ginsburg, and we have no nominee right now. Trump said he will announce his nominee on Saturday, but it's going to be a tight timeline. I also want to point out that our Congress Mm -hmm. are pieces of human dog shit and have still not passed any sort of uh, second stimulus bill, but however, Anything. we'll drop everything oh, yeah. to, uh, to to make sure that a Supreme Court nominee gets through on the conservative Did end of things. you say Supreme that's Court nominee? Power. It's, yeah, total so dog like, shit. Thank They're not God thinking about the we don't people. have to argue over the people again. Yeah, let's just do some selfish-ass uh. political play that'll help us down the line. Uh, you pieces of shit, Congress, <laughs> listen the fuck up, you assholes. The other one I like is, uh, who will be the next Supreme Court nominee? Uh, by the way, before number... Th- before November 3rd, it's 71 cents right now. Who will be the next nominee? Amy Coney Barrett is at 78 cents. I can't figure out why she's leading. It seems like there's a bunch of options. Uh, if you got any intel there, I would hammer that market. I have no recommendation for you, but it seems like if you're a Barbara Langoa guy, uh, you Langoa. know something, you could make some cash. Anyway, that's predicted. Uh, something, something, something crazy happened today where there was like a 12 cent swing yeah. uh, away from Langoa. Like, yeah, yeah, no, uh, Barrett's emerging as the as the likely favorite. Yeah. Um, but that, I was trying to find data. I couldn't says. find much it's up data. to it's up to eighty. It's up to eighty cents now. Oh. That's what everybody says. But there was yeah, a huge swing today. It seems like the experts are are saying it's coming like this week, potentially by the time you're listening to this. I put all my money in it. Go today, thinking yeah. that the Florida connection was going to be the the nah. way to go. No, I think that I think that I think that maybe. Uh, if 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 uh, the Trump administration, now I'm not saying that they would base this solely on this, but if they're feeling like their polling in Florida is not great, maybe uh, Lagoya could have a shot. Maybe if, well, I'll say this, guys. If you're going by headshot alone, Joan Larson's your gal at two cents. That's okay. predictit.org <laughs> slash promo slash hard factor 20. <laughs> Sweet. Get in it. Get in there now. Uh, This one comes from Heart of Hive member Charles. Uh, Today's show is brought to you by Charles. Remember, (laughs) remember to DM us your on our personal accounts on Twitter or uh, Instagram. It's just at hard factor in our first names uh, or just the hard factor uh, account itself. If you want your stories read, Charles, you're the man. Here comes another one from you. So maybe uh, we had Putin all wrong, guys. Uh, maybe what? he's maybe he's just a sweet guy and not a monster because do monsters offer the entire U.N. staff uh, a free vaccine shot from his from their Russian uh, covid vaccine that Putin says is absolutely flawless. Does that sound like a thing a monster would do? That yeah, sounds nice. Mm-hmm. No, uh, is it I don't testing, think testing, so. though. Is it technically testing because they didn't? Do the third <laughs> yeah, round? Um, that's exactly what Russian President Alexander Putin is offering. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, so here you go, the entire UN. Uh, <laughs> Here's the first round of the thing we didn't do third round <laughs> testing for. No, well, I tried gift. it on my daughter. Where's your, but where yes, is your daughter? He what, where is she? Yeah, no one knows. Uh, Putin offered the entire UN staff free Sputnik V shots when he gave his speech to the UN General Assembly on the UN's 75th birthday. What a fucking showman. Uh, and all he asked in return was that Russia be allowed back in the Olympics and for lesser doping testing. <laughs> uh, he didn't ask for that. But, uh, he did say any one of us could face this dangerous virus. He sounds like the CDC. Uh, the virus has not spared the staff of the United Nations, its headquarters and regional entities. Uh, this was in a pre-recorded speech they played, I guess, to the General Assembly. He said... Um, what else did he say? Uh, Russia is ready to offer UN workers the necessary quantified, qualified help. And in particular, we propose to supply our vaccine for free to employees of the organization and its subsidiaries who volunteer for vaccination. Vaccination. So he wants internationally anyone involved with the UN to take the Sputnik V, uh, which is probably just a mind control thing. And he'll be in control of the UN. Mm-hmm. Um, hmm. Probably don't take it. Right. It can't be good. Yeah. Yeah, this, he's this taking the, uh, year, if you can't join them, beat them uh, to death. Uh, approach. Yeah, it's actually not a vaccine. It's actually a virus. But we do have the vaccine. And if uh, and if you want it, you have to listen to whatever Russia says, UN. Yeah. Like, 
this doesn't sound good. No, I me. thought it was hard to understand what's real and not before 2020. And now yeah. 2020 has just ripped that to shreds. Doesn't now this sound just, insane? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Putin's offering the entire UN a vaccine shot and like kind of bullying them into it. Like if it's kind of like put your money where your mouth is, UN. You said you take a vaccine. Are they going to uh, do it? No, 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 I, no, I don't think so. I don't know. We ha- we'll have to keep uh-huh. an eye on it. it. It just came out like yesterday. So like, we'll have to keep our eye on it. Uh, and update <laughs> no, accordingly. Do you think Putin will be offended but if they don't take him up on his generous offer? Yes, I think he's offended yeah. whether they take him up or not. I think they all um, come down with COVID miraculously very soon is what I think. Oh, now you yeah. would like this button. Yeah, exactly. Something's something's going to happen. <laughs> um, yeah, to me, I agree. This seems like it's more dangerous to members of the UN than that scene in the Marvel movie, like one of the Captain Americas where they just blew up the UN. Mm-hmm. So it does uh, sound like a Marvel, like, uh, yeah, like a plot. Marvel plot. Yeah. Marvel bond plot. Like uh, yeah. there's a giant uh, presentation. He's like, it would be a shame if you would need this vaccine in a day or two. Yeah. And then yeah. sounds a, f- a bit fishy. So good luck, <laughs> everyone at the UN. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's it. All right. Cool. Yeah. All right. This next one comes from Tank. Thanks, Tank. Uh, guys, Instagram model uh, Monique Augustino, who is very attractive and 25 years old. Uh, she's from Australia. Uh, she's blonde, very busty. Uh, likes to pose as Catwoman on Instagram and has been oh, jailed nice. for taking on that mask, mischievous Catwoman role a bit too seriously. You see, she likes to dress up and uh, take hot photos, but she also likes to put on masks and rob businesses. Um, so, oh, so she thinks she is Catwoman. She, Got it. I think she's just Not a clep just show. for the pictures. Yeah. I think she yeah. just really likes to steal things, uh, like genuinely likes to steal things um, because this, she's she's hot enough. Because she thinks she's Catwoman. Well, yeah, and she thinks she's right. Catwoman. She, she's hot enough where she could get all this shit for free. Um, you know, if she, people don't just give you free stuff. Oh, you, no, yeah. they do. Uh, I mean, they, yeah, they do. I mean, they give you, they give yeah, you like, well, hold on. I'll, re- I'll re- retract that. They give you small free stuff, but I don't know about the, you like the stuff, the oh, size okay. stuff she wants to see. Well, well, there's a big world out there and you're having a daughter soon. You might want to open your eyes to it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Instagram model. I want a teacher to say, thanks the, for the free stuff. Insta- <laughs> they're literally sugar daddies that give you, yeah, give you cars and houses and vacations and, and yeah, but it, she so you're saying she's that hot. Uh, the pictures I saw there were there was there were a couple of conflicting ones, but the ones that are on Instagram of her and Catwoman she's an Instagram model. Are, are very attractive. I mean, she yes. Yeah, okay, Instagram model range is a big range. That's yeah, a wide, you're right. Yeah, it, that's it, a yeah. wide and, net. You're catching. She as, has an as, iPhone. As are, as are the account. range of simps. <laughs> mm-hmm. There's a ton of simps out there. Yeah, look her up. Uh, the picture that I saw, she could get what she wants. Um, anyway, mm. so this all started two years ago when she drove a bunch of teenage boys to, I think teenage boys, to Sydney and convinced them to commit crimes for her, probably with the promise of a tit flash uh, from her. But uh, they so they broke into several places of businesses, mostly restaurant and food spots, oddly. A pizza shop, a cafe, a bakery. She stole one uh, credit card and then used it to buy McDonald's. I think she's got some kind of like food thing going on. I'm not sure. What? Yeah. Um, but for that little spree, uh, she was sentenced to two years in prison. That huh? I see what you're saying. That's how she like gets gets uh, her bulimia to work. I don't. She says like uh, I don't know. she said I stole this food, so it shouldn't be in me. It's not mine. And then she throws it up. I get it. I get what you're saying. Yeah, she's I don't got think something. anyone's head was going that direction, Mark. But that's, that's what he. That's, that's what Wes was saying. Uh, that's how it works. That's how she says. I thought Wes was saying maybe she's I like should. doing mukbangs. I shouldn't have eaten this food. I'm just dirty food. It's in my body. It's not mine. I'm taking it out. I actually hadn't Ugh. gone far that, that far as far as both of you had gone. <laughs> Makes uh, sense though. Okay. What, <laughs> uh, what were you? What were you implying then about her food thing? She they just she likes to rob. I think she just likes, she likes, she likes it. She likes to eat. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's as far as I got. Food. She loves to eat. <laughs> Teenage yeah. boy. Oh, so she. To eat. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Probably that's right. Yeah, I think because she bought food. That's why. Yeah. No, she no, steals she's it. She's human. She needs yeah, it. Yeah, she's human. She <laughs> likes food. Yeah. I got it. Yeah, but you, you know, she'll it's, die without it. It's just strange to me that <laughs> she would die. that she would go to these lengths <laughs> to just steal from all these restaurants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what the fuck is going on? I don't know. It's weird, why man. Is she, why is she employing people to steal food? I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. I don't know. Anyway, she so she just she just like wants to commit crime. Yeah, that's she what I'm saying. Like, and I got to respect. I, she, like I said, she can have anything she wants, but she I think she just genuinely likes doing this, like the thrill of it. Yeah. Um, so she was convinced she was also convicted of carrying a knife uh, at Target, uh, possession of crystal meth, stealing a jacket. Um, I mean, she's she's an adventurous girl. If you like adventure, she's you know, who else real. like to uh, just steal things, even though they didn't have to. Hmm. Uh, Michelle Pfeiffer and cat as Catwoman. Oh. oh, there you go. Oh, really? There you go. That's yes. exactly it. Huh. Yeah. I didn't yeah, know like that. my heart. 
Okay. Wow. Yeah. Well, then she is yeah. like real like Catwoman. Okay. Did did, yeah. did Catwoman Mark? also have a food thing? Uh, I mean, cat food, milk. Yeah, she was. Yeah, yeah, she lived yeah, like milk. the milk. Yeah. Okay. Poured yeah. milk all over herself. You know the scene. Well, anyway, she's wild. She got sentenced <laughs> to two years, but then she got out, and then she started skipping <laughs> bail. Uh, so she's uh. <laughs> She, like flash dance she's just <laughs> pouring milk on herself yeah. the deleted scenes yeah yeah you know the one um, <laughs> you know. anyway you she'll know. be up for she's oh, she'll You'll be up for still from the sea to be released in october <sighs> i didn't know cat uh, women like to just steal things this way she puts herself yeah. in a big saucer okay she's a cat right. thief that's that all right this next one comes to us from intern cam about martha stewart Smoking blunts with Snoop Dogg for her new CBD company. And psych, I'd never give her CBD company the time of day because we're a caliper CBD powder right. podcast. Uh, just like we're a paint your life podcast for all the moments when you need to give a gift that will make a lasting impression. And reminder, we need an updated uh, header image for our social pages uh, and an image for our very own paint your life portrait so dm us with your submissions to hard factor twitter twitter or instagram whatever you got you're racing and against the beeve against the clock who is also working on his draft slowly is he someone, do we have any uh, extra hats do someone, we have any extra hats? Deep, someone deep faked me uh on ron burgundy yesterday which i thought was pretty cool yes we do oh, have we do have extra cool. hats we do have extra so hats we can the we'll send we'll send a hat and like Ooh. 10 stickers to whoever comes up with the winning design there will be a prize and it will yeah, hang in the in the bit. studio for for eternity. Andy, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it's going to be on video every day. So that's cool. But we want to get it right. That's why we're doing this very special contest. And the beef is also working on his own design mock up. Uh, and that's because the good folks at paint your life are going to turn it into an absolute masterpiece, a hand painted work of art. Uh, and if you want to give a truly meaningful gift, You've got to try paintyourlife.com. Get a professional hand-painted portrait created from any photo at a truly affordable price. Choose from a team of world-class artists and work with them until every detail is perfect. Quick and easy process. Get a hand-painted portrait in about three weeks. Send any picture, yourself, your children, family, a special place, or a cherished pet, or combine photos all together in one painting. The artist is going to make it happen for you at paintyourlife.com. There is no risk. And if you don't love the final painting, your money is refunded, guaranteed. And right now, as a limited time offer, get 20 percent off your painting. That's right. That's pretty incredible. 20 percent off the already low prices. Well, that's probably covers the shipping, right? The 20 percent. You'd think so, but you get free shipping too. Oh, 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 God. Come on, <laughs> come that's on. That's on a painting box. Those things are fucking huge. Uh, so to get this special offer, text the word FACTOR to 64000. That's FACTOR to 64000. Text FACTOR to 64000. Paint your life. Celebrate the moments that matter most. You have to paint me some clean pants after hearing about that deal. Okay, guys, what's the first thing you do when you get a new toy? Uh slightly damage it because i'm too excited like diminish the value of it that is very mark guys other guys oh yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah uh hurt hurt my hands trying to open the box that's open very well as well i should i i shouldn't shouldn't ask this group what you do <laughs> is you show that shit off to all the other kids in the neighborhood so they know how cool you are and they get jealous yeah. uh and that's exactly that's very pat yeah. yeah it's very pat baby look at it you can't have it because it's mine but you can come <laughs> and play with it Wes, what's your answer? But you didn't hear one. I would just that's that's very I Wes. would just stay inside and <laughs> yeah. isolate and eat and play that by myself. Yeah. Treat it like <laughs> it's like it's captive. Uh that's exactly what 29-year-old <laughs> Oregon man Nicholas J. Ellingford was doing on Sunday night. Uh and in this scenario, guys, Nicholas's new toy was his Glock nine millimeter handgun, and the neighborhood was the checkout line at McKay's Market Grocery Store. Uh, oh yeah. Well, they call it the checkout line, so check it out. Check it out. Hey, what do I got here? Brand new Glock. Check it out. Hey, I got it shiny. Uh, hasn't even fired a bullet yet. According to the police report, Nicholas had unholstered the gun so he could quote show it off to a friend. Uh, I can imagine the scene now. There's Nicholas. He's in the checkout line with his six pack of natural ice and uh, two tins of Vienna <laughs> sausage. When his buddy pulls up behind him, hey man, what are you doing here? Shopping. <laughs> me too hey you want to see my gun hell yeah uh i imagine that's yes that was the answer is that's always yes yeah, yeah i'll I mean, see it when you have a new gun it is exciting it's, it's fucking awesome 
<laughs> There's no other answer to that though than yes. If but like, you want to see my new in gun? the grocery store and uh, loaded. Yeah, the next true. A bad you always probably ask. A, probably a small grocery store. There probably weren't a lot of people there. Is this thing loaded? Piggly Wiggly. Uh, or something. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. guys, after show and tell, Nicholas tucked his firearm back into the front of his pants, accidentally pulling the trigger in the process and shooting himself square in the genitals. Oh, oh damn. Genital That's explosion. Worst, damn it, Nicholas. Worst case scenario. Yeah. Uh, that, that gun worked. Ooh. You feel bad if you're so a friend those, there. Th those jennies are just gone, huh? What's his deal here? Yeah. I, you've, I've only fired a nine millimeter once, but that's a pretty powerful handgun. I, I imagine. Hopefully, well, yeah, like nine hopefully millimeter. Instead of the Vienna. muzzle right there. Yeah, Oof. I mean, it's just going to be. It's hopefully, gonna be instead a whole of mess. Uh, the Vienna sausages, he had like frozen peas. <laughs> oh, yeah, or just uh, so another place, place on the handgun. Home. Or another penis. <laughs> yeah, guys. Hopefully he a had, second hopefully he, bullet. Hopefully he <laughs> shopped for another penis that oh. day. The shot reportedly entered through his groin and exited through his thigh, narrowly missing his femoral artery, which I bet Nicholas wished it didn't. Uh, yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. You take that gun back out and shoot yourself in the head. <laughs> How'd you lose it? Yeah. Um, police, well, at least he could grow it on his arm. Police responded <laughs> and uh, found the newly neutered Nicholas uh, and promptly took him to an area hospital where he was immediately airlifted to a Portland hospital uh, where they told him, hey, man, there's nothing we could do about this, probably. Taking it to the internet, Ira Jeez. Dempsey says he was a liberal, noticing that he was changing inside and decided to do something about it. By the way, ah, wow, a lot of hate in here. And you know most of these accidents could be avoided, but that's why we call them accidents. Uh, and then Eric what? Crowker <laughs> says... What what state was this in? In Oregon. Oregon? Yeah. Wait, so <laughs> do they why have... did the guy call him a liberal? <laughs> <laughs> do they have southern accents in Oregon? That, that, that wasn't a southern accent. accent thing? That wasn't a southern accent. Just doing accent. a southern accent. Yeah, no, no, you said you know Y-O-U-N-O most. <laughs> you know yeah, so most. Sorry. <laughs> Should I put on a British accent for that? Uh, Eric Crowker says, luckily, there couldn't have been much down there for him to shoot off in the first place. And then... Uh, oh, man. man. Oh. He just said he has a small Pe dick People are, got shot off. People are calling him a small dick after the fact. Yeah. Oh. Just, I think losing his Kicking dick... Kicking him while he's down. His own, yeah. his, his own goal uh, was his punishment enough. And then Phoebe yeah, Smith guy. says... Hmm, Hopefully it happened before he had reproduced. And then uh Duck Lee says, Oh, okay. Just just, just a nice, just nice thought. Real well, glad his dick's gone. Yeah. It Phoebe's gets, the person that goes around and just says hi to everyone. It, hi on the internet. He gets Hope worse, you're having guys. a good day. Yeah. So Phoebe Smith says that, that and then Duck Lee says, Unfortunately, that is not the case, lol. Uh what? And then <laughs> Jackie Wagner Ellenberger says, Or not? And Duck Lee says, Or not what? He has children. I know the dummy. <laughs> lol. <laughs> oh no! I know the dummy. Wait, did Phoebe say she hoped it happened before you? Yes, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I missed. Yeah. I misheard that. Phoebe was hoping it was a castration. Phoebe was mean. Uh, oh, so Phoebe's mean. Yeah. I, your your nice voice you gave her. Yeah. And no, then her funny. neighbor, and then his neighbor chimes in and is like, "Guess what? No. You're too. We were too and late." And his kids are stupid too. Mm. Oh no! Duck Lee better delete that because there's uh, he's gonna have not much <laughs> left other than uh, seeking vengeance. Uh, and that's gonna do it for Hard Factor. Thank you guys so yeah. much for listening. We're running long, so I'm just gonna wrap it up. Have a great fucking day.